Hey, Steve Petrato here from Horizon Hobby. Today we're going to be showing you how to do the accelerometer calibration on your Blade 350 QX3. In order to do this calibration, it's actually very simple and all you'll need is your radio and your model with the battery installed. The reason we do this accelerometer calibration is in, if the model is drifting in any way that we don't want it to. Uh, this only really matters if GPS is turned off. Now, if we're outside and we see the model drifting to the left or the right, uh, or forward or backwards, we need to do this accelerometer calibration. It's also good to do this once in a while, just as a general form of maintenance. Now, in order to start, we're going to want to turn on our model by turning on our radio first, and then our model. Reach under here. Let that all boot up. Now, there are two forms of accelerometer calibration. One is static, and the other one is flying. Uh, the static calibration is great for a completely stock model. Uh, and it's really easy to do. You just leave it on the table and let it do its thing. Uh, the flying calibration is a little more detailed. It requires you to fly the model and hover it in, your, in, its own, in one place in order to teach it what level is. This is really important if you've added weight or removed weight from the model. Let's say you've added a larger battery or stuck something to the outside or put a, a smaller battery in and the, weights, the weight is different from the factory. That's what the flying calibration is for. All right, so let's get started. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down your bind button or your throttle cut button on the radio while you flip the flight mode switch up and down four times. Then the model's going to go into calibration. Let's go ahead and start. Hold that down, flip this four times. One, two, three, four. It's going to make a beep sound and it's going to go into that mode. I'm going to turn it here so you can see it. It's a purple blinking light. It's going to slowly blink and then it will turn blinking fast. And we're just going to let it do its thing, not touch it on the table, and let it find level. Once it completes the calibration, you're going to see or you're going to see the green light come on. You're going to hear an ascending tone or what we call a happy tone, I believe in the manual. And that's going to tell you that you've had a successful calibration. Now, if you have a failure calibration, we'll show you that in a minute. But let's go ahead and do the flying calibration. Now, I'm inside and just make sure you do this in an open area where you know you can fly in. Don't be around people. Be safe. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back into that flight to that procedure. Hold down the throttle cut or bind button. Flip this four times. This is your flight mode switch. One, two, three, four. Let it go in. Now you have to start the motors before that flight turns faster. So let's go ahead and start the motors and take off. You can hear there that we had a successful calibration. Now what we are doing there is actually just flying the model and making sure that it doesn't actually go anywhere while we're flying. So keep it nice and steady, adding as much input as you need to keep it in one spot uh, while, while trying not to fly all around the room. Do it in a pretty, if you're doing it outside, don't do it in a windy day, do it on a calm day or do it in a big room if you can. The, low, the, low, the lower the winds, the better. Uh, once it's done, the light will go out and then you can land the model. Once you land the model, it'll do its sequence where it tells you that it was successful or if it was a failure. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what a failure sounds like and looks like. Go ahead and bring the model back. We're going to go ahead and start the same procedure. So hold down the bind button, flip the flight mode switch four times. One, two, three, four. Now all I'm going to do is just move the model, simulating that something happened. Something bumped into it, slipped off the table or whatever. Go ahead and move it around. You'll see that it pretty quickly, it'll go into a failure. Now that failure is going to be a blinking red light and then it will go solid and then it will go into this sound that you're hearing and then we can go ahead and turn it off. Turn the model off, turn the model back on, let it reboot and try again. All right, so that's pretty much it for the accelerometer calibration. Again, very important to do if you have any drifting. It's a good form of maintenance. Please let me know if you have any questions, guys, on this. Please check out our website at bladehellies.com or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash bladehellies. I hope this helps.